Hello, this is State Representative Jay Neal from your state capitol. Today is a little bit, little bit different, a little bit special as I come to you with the legislative update. Uh, I spent a lot of time throughout my career working with young people and I've always had a, a, a warm place in my heart for them. And one of the great things that I get to do as a state representative is host pages here at the capitol. I have the opportunity to, to have 10 pages a year uh, that come down and spend the day with me. Uh, they have an opportunity to uh, meet the governor, typically um, opportunity to, to meet the speaker, uh, opportunity to, to be in and out of the House chamber as, um, uh, as they're involved in running messages in and out. And it, it's a great experience. And uh, today I have uh, one of my pages with me today, the first page of this session, uh, Ryan McConnell. And uh, Ryan, good to have you with us today. Thank you, Jay. Appreciate you coming in and spending a little bit of time with us. And uh, first of all, uh, where do you go to school, Ryan? Uh, Lafette Middle School. Lafette Middle School. What grade are you in? Eighth. Eighth grade Lafette Middle School. Well, again, thank you for coming down. We've had we've had an opportunity to talk a little bit and uh, get to know a little bit about you. And, and uh, first of all, let me uh, let me ask you a, a little bit about today and how what what kind of stood out to you today. It was a special day today. Uh, tell us what today was. The Superior Court Justice gave her speech thing. Absolutely. Today was a joint session of the House and Senate. Uh, it, was the, um, it was the day where Superior, Supreme Court Justice uh, Leah Sears gave her final State of the Judiciary address to the, to the joint session of the, of the House and the Senate. And uh, you had an opportunity. You actually were inside working when the ceremony began. And uh, uh, tell us what happened to you. Okay, I was just delivering out the papers and they told them to lock the doors and so I just stepped off to the side and watched the 30 minute speech. You got locked into the house chamber, didn't you? Oh yeah. Uh, when, when, uh, when the ceremony begins, the, the speaker uh, tells the doorkeepers to close the doors and keep them closed and uh, yeah. uh, nobody gets in or out at that point. So, and it's actually good that you were in there at that time because you were able to see um, as uh, the, the Senate gained entrance into the into the house and then the judiciary gained entrance into the house and there's a lot of ceremony goes along with that, isn't there? Yeah. Uh, we, we also talked, you had a chance to meet the governor, mm -hmm. spend a little bit of time with him. Really nice guy, yeah. Yeah, he, he is and he enjoys, as I do, he enjoys young people and um, an opportunity to spend a little time with them as well and we'll get that picture to you by the way. Okay. Uh, we, we've also had a chance to talk a little bit about some of your activities and some of the things that you do. Uh, tell, us, tell me a little bit about your hobbies. Um, I'm in a band. We play Christian rock music, just rock and roll. And I'm involved with a group at our school called FCA Fellowship of Christian Athlete, Athletes, and I'm a leader in the thing. So plan the meetings uh, every Thursdays, and we just have a lot of fun with that. Excellent. Excellent. Do you, does your band have a name? Redemption. Redemption, good, good. You play uh, uh, a little bit of, of everything. Do, do you play a good bit of the Christian music? Or? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Good, good. FCA is a great program. Mm -hmm. it's, it's fun, I mean, you get to learn about God and what He's done for us and you get to have fun while you're doing it. So. Excellent, excellent. Well, it's good to see, it's good to see young people. You know, we hear so much about uh, about our young people and so much about the problems that young people have and uh, it seems like that um, anytime you you see a news story or read anything in the paper about about a young person it seems like most of the time it's a bad thing so it's mm -hmm. it's good to, to see young people out there that are that are using their skills and their their abilities uh, getting involved in a program like FCA and um, being involved with a band and I, I, th I think you play a little basketball oh yeah uh, last week we did a elk's hoop shoot thing and I got first place. There are only two people there, but well, now you didn't have to tell us how many people were there. Okay, just a little tip. In the future, leave that part out. It's just I was first place. Okay, leave that. Leave out the only two people part. Okay. Was it a free throw shoot? Yeah. How many? How many did you shoot? Uh, tw twenty out of twenty-five. Twenty out of twenty-five. That's great. Eighty percent. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people playing college basketball and playing in the NBA that don't hit 80% of their foul shots? I'm pretty sure it was just luck. I was having a good day today. I, oh, I don't think it was luck. I don't think. Congratulations. Thank Thanks for coming down today. 
Uh, would you encourage uh, others? Is, it, is this something that you think other students might enjoy coming and being part of? Yeah, this is wonderful. You're learning a lot, and it's just a fun experience. You need to do it. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming down and being with me today. Thank I you. appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Again, this is State Representative Jay Neal. Thanks for sharing a little time with me again today. Uh, if you have any comments, if you'd like to contact me, I will have my email address and my phone number on the screen after uh, this uh, video concludes. And uh, be sure and, and get in touch with me if you, if you have any concerns you'd like to share. Thanks again. God bless you.